I haven't swung a golf club in two weeks. No particular reason, just life gets in the way sometimes. So what I'm working on today is actually finding out my actual yardages for each of my clubs. But I'm also continuing to work on the wrist hinge that I've been talking about the last few episodes. I believe my 56 degree, I can shoot about 100 yards, 50 degree wedge about 120, pitching wedge 140, a seven iron, we're looking at about 180 yards, five iron 200 yards, and other than that I'm not really sure. So that's what I need to do today is dial in my yardages for each of my clubs, so let's do it, let's go. Starting at 50 degree, my first shot was 118 yards. extension and flexion. So as you get to the top of your back swing, the left hand should be bowed and the right hand is flexed. So you're in this position as opposed to this position. So you can see that it's quite a big difference. And when you're in this position, you actually don't do anything with your wrist, you swing. Radial ulnar deviation with the most common wrist hinge. So when you're at the back of your top of your back swing, I'm beginning to work my wrist this way. So in the back swing here, a bowed left wrist and a flexed right wrist this way. So as you swing, you don't do anything with your wrists. As you can see, there's forward sharp lean. And apparently that will help with the compression of the ball for greater distance. So as I do my takeaway, I already start hinging my wrist this way into this bowed and flex position, and then you swing. Let's try. Hundred twenty-six. One fifteen. Okay, now going with my fifty-six degree wedge. My prediction is I shoot this about hundred yards. One hundred and three. 98. Okay, pitching wedge. One forty. One thirty nine. One forty two. One thirty five. One forty. A pretty accurate prediction with my pitching wedge. I said one forty. It's pretty much on the nail. 132, 133, 136, 135, 138. Time for the nine iron. 157, 152, 152, 160, 144, 150, 141, 141, 149, 155. Okay, time for the seven iron. This I predict to be about 180. They're going to try and draw this one. 180, 180, 
180 yards, 177 yards, 178 yards. That uh, didn't catch that good. Wow. It said 184, 178, 180, 192. Okay, we're going with the five iron now. I predict 200 yards. 187. It's time to play with the lady boy. I really don't know about this one. I'm going to guess 230 yards. Presuming I don't top it. That felt pretty good. Ooh, 229 yards. I didn't top it, Mika. Oh, that felt good. 224 yards. Yards. I think I topped that one, Mika. <laughs> 199 yards. Don't shank it, Carla. Two hundred nineteen, two hundred three. I think I've just broken something. Came back and smashed something. Okay, driver time. 225. Smash factor 145, ball speed 146, club speed 101. Pretty good. 253 carry, 274 total. Spin 2600, launch angle 13.7, that's good. 247 carry. Launch angle 10.9, attack angle is minus 2.1, smash factor 1.48, club speed 101, ball speed 151. 103.5, 230 carry. So my predictions actually turned out to be quite accurate. I said my 56 degree would be about 100 yards. My 50 degree, that's obviously rounded up to 119, but I'll say 120. Pitching wedge, 140. Nine iron, 150. My seven iron, 180. So they were all pretty accurate predictions. I didn't feel that I really caught my five iron that well on the day. I do think that I'm shooting normally a bit more than 190. And the three hybrid, when I'm not topping it, it's looking like it's going to come in at around 215 yards. Driver, still not overly happy with my driving. I'd really like to be carrying around somewhere between 250 and 270 yards. 
So it looks like I've got to work on improving by about 20 or 30 yards on my driving carry distance. But it was certainly good to do this, you know, interesting to find out, you know, how my average yardage is looking for my carry distance. Didn't have time to do all of my clubs, uh, so that will maybe come in the future, working on my eight, my six and my four iron specifically. So yeah, super happy to do this. Hopefully this is going to help me drop some shots um, to continue breaking 100 and hopefully in the future breaking 95 and 90. Looking good, Carter. Looking good. Come on, Carter.